Happy weekend everyone! I have something super exciting today. Uh, I found this thing, this set for watercolor painting in the store uh, that is a chain in Europe. It's called Flying Tiger. And it says that for 11 euros it includes that much. You can imagine that uh, like a palette junkie as I am, I was super interested in palette because even like if the palette alone would cost 11 euros it's a good deal and I was really looking for a palette uh, to store a few more colors and I really like that this long one has uh, four wells, uh, five wells, four wells is a regular one so it's five narrow wells, I really like it it has colors so what else do we have here? We have a, a paint pad. Um, I would expect that I'm not going to like it, but a look at the surface. It's very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. So we'll try that. And then we have more. There is a colored pencil which is a very interesting choice. I actually think it's smart. I like color pencils and sketching with color pencils better than uh, sketching with graphite. We have a liner, 0 0.2. Like, that's awesome. Someone very knowledgeable actually <laughs> put the set together, I think. We have, that's interesting, like two bristle brushes. How do you use bristle brushes in watercolor? I don't know, maybe we should scrape that much. <laughs> and uh, two other different size brushes, it has no marking on the hands. So, and the bag. Very nice bag, by the way. Like, super nice. So, I would suggest we first swatch colors. On this paper and also I have actual like cotton watercolor paper that's um, Cancel Moulin de Roy to give this uh, paints a better chance and then we'll swatch uh, pencil and the pen and we will test these brushes. So let's start. Uh, I actually removed this mixing space I don't use it much, but in the bigger palettes, but also I really wanted you to see the colors better here. The pens are really like your standard half pen. I was thinking maybe they will be smaller, but now it's, uh, it's a standard pen. Uh, so <laughs> let's start. Uh, you probably can assume as I am, I don't know why I'm starting with white, you're not going to see it that they're not gonna re-wet well or they're not gonna be too pigmented because again like with this uh, 11 euro for the whole set I'm no better than a uh, haul from Timu or some other Aliexpress but actually look at this already with yellow it's not too bad I was thinking that maybe I'm gonna throw them away right away because yeah I really like to enjoy uh, painting because it's my hobby it's not my work and I really try to select materials that I'm gonna like really enjoy because I don't have that much time for it and I don't want to spend my time not enjoying something. Uh, the paper, I can tell you, is very strange but interesting. Like, I'm not going to use it for watercolor but I'm thinking that maybe I can use it for printing. I don't know. I will try. I will see. Uh, so you can see like the colors as expected most of them are not too bright this yellow actually was the best one 
but also you know I seen worse I seen worse I uh, once bought a set of tubes that I actually threw away uh, for like a few euro in the supermarket and they were like all binder and like they were really gummy and they were just like super unpleasant so I just threw them away I was so frustrated I don't know why I, why I was frustrated what I was expecting but I was just starting back then and uh, yeah probably I had some hopes that uh, when you know they produce things for kids they will do it a bit better than they normally do this is nice variety of colors and frankly I am pretty surprised overall I'm not gonna probably use them still uh, but I might give them away instead of throwing them away because really the previous ones were so bad that it was no point in giving them away no one should use something like you know colors that really don't have no color and then forever think that this is how art supply looks like and uh, this is how much effort you should apply to do art it's it's really like i believe that mm, art has to be enjoyable you suffer enough with the inspiration and uh, with fear of starting with fear of finishing with fear of uh, it looks okay and i'm afraid to move further because i will uh, ruin as much as i already have though it can be better all of that like and adding to that the fear not the fear but like the unpleasant surprise supplies sorry uh, yeah this yellow really sold me like i wish they all was like this yellow but they're not really but they're not too bad and you see when i soaked them a bit and i used them on better paper they're really not that bad i can also like water let's use this orange it flows like watercolor should it's like has this medium flow and uh, yeah i'm i'm surprised frankly there is of course like no granulation or anything but you wouldn't expect it uh, from the first basic set of watercolors but you, you can do stuff with it I mean like especially if you have better paper that's I don't know and then some stupid green and then you mix it and charge it and you use I don't know what's that probably some kind of a palm you okay so it's not it's not that bad I am impressed really very much impressed so talking about the liner let's see if it even works and it does and it's very nice i'm going to use it the pencil has no marks on it so i'm wondering if it's a watercolor pencil let's see oh, it's pretty dry the moment of truth mm, probably 
I'd say that it's not a watercolor pencil, but it's it's getting a bit fuzzy, so I don't know. Maybe that's just a bad watercolor pencil, but still like this color, I think it can be very nice for urban sketching or nature, like really, I, I, I like it better than graphite. With the bristle brushes, frankly, I don't know what to do besides I, I do splatters and I will keep them to use with my acrylics, oils, all of that. Uh, that would be nice to have some just basic brushes. Let's look at this two. I will soak them a bit because they are in gum Arabic. Not too much though. So let's look at them. They are coming to the point. Very narrow, but Again, not that bad. And they hold some water. Look, that's a smaller brush. Really not that bad, guys. Uh, for that money, it's um, crazy. And then the paints has soaked. And they have a okay payout. So, and very, very narrow point, and you can use it. Okay, let's load it with a bit more water and color. They, of course, not enough probably to really you know do a lot of painting but to start and uh, to use them for more like detailed work i'm not gonna throw them away or give them away i'm actually gonna use them so that was quite a surprise i must say um yeah it's not that bad uh, so that's again the name for you and if you have access to a tiger or flying tiger stores uh, i i went to mine and um, i found it online and i went i was looking for the like pellet and i saw it for 11 euros i was like yeah let's uh, of course let's try um, and then uh, I went to the store and I was looking actually uh, for the metal pen, but it doesn't look like that. It looks like this bags. So look for this bag if you're interested, but I would say totally worth the money two times, three times, like really okay. Um, and um, I'm not gonna try mixing because I don't know why, like what could go wrong because yeah, that's not, again, not too bad. And I can show you the colors again on the cotton paper. They're not like super in your face, but it also can be a style. So um, for nature, it's not bad. And that's the paper pot that they have with again very interesting texture so yeah uh, what else can I say 12 half pens you're not gonna fit 13 some some like a longer you know and you can fit 13 I don't think that here you can let's see maybe no, I don't think you can fit 13, so it's 24 pen. And then in the middle, you can put more pens like that. And then it will be even more. It's, it will be about 30 probably at least. 32, I guess. 
so very nice box um, yeah I think I found a gem I'm very happy it's not a waste of money I am a bit sorry that it's uh, such a low price because um, you can guess that probably it was not produced very ethically so um, yeah also keep that in mind um, that's it for now and uh, happy day everyone